Hey, what's going on guys? This is me again and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to try my best to show you how to get those files that I've talked about in my previous video. If you're new to this video, uh, please go uh, check out my uh, previous video. I'm going to leave a link uh, down below to the video so you can know what we're talking about. Since you know, a lot of you asked me uh, how to get those files from, the OGG files, um, today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, and it's really simple. All you have to do is uh, have the uh, ES File Explorer ready and just that's it. Just go to on, uh, online or on a browser, go to Google and download and look up, I mean look up an, uh, a ROM for your specific device. It has to be the same device uh, because uh, manufacturers name their files differently. Let's say Samsung names their touch sound uh, TW underscore touch dot OG, OGG. On Nexus 6 right here they name it differently too. Like on Nexus 6 um, if I go to the root directory the touch sound is going to be named differently. And it's actually called uh, effect underscore tick OGG. As you can see the OGG is still the same but the name of the file is different. That's why I emphasize on uh, getting the same device ROM. Anyway, so what you gotta do is just go to a browser and Google and in my case I have a Galaxy uh, Note Edge it's by T-Mobile. All I have to do is type in T-Mobile And then make sure at the end of the phrase you're uh, searching to include the XDA because that that is uh, the you know the most common place for ROMs. <clears throat> so when I uh, you know when I did Edge, then I put XDA. That will take you to uh, the first thing you will see is uh, the so and so device Android development or something like that. Anything with the with XDA developers is what you want to go to. So that's about it. You click on this and you go to the forums. And let me just go there too. And right here, see, like you have to find so on so device Android development. That's where all the ROMs are. Sometimes some uh, developers throw their ROMs in the uh, original development uh, section. But anyway, any ROM you find for your own device, it, does, it doesn't have to be the same carrier, it has to be the same device only. Download the ROM, and now let's get to the real deal. After you download the ROM, you just go to ES File Explorer, and then navigate to, to where you downloaded the ROM. Mine is going to be right here. So all you have to do is click it, ES Zip Viewer. Let it load. This is this is the ROM and all its components. You don't have, you don't need to worry about anything but system. Go to system. Look for media, audio, UI, and these are all the files that you need. Uh, I mean, th these are all the files that are uh, system. I mean, UI uh, related. You see all the OGGs and all that. Let's say you want to take uh, the dialer, uh, you know, the sound, you want to take the the key press delete, uh, lock, unlock, anything you want. All you have to do is, now I'm going to pick the power on or the, the touch sound. Let's take the easiest one, the touch sound. All you have to do is, since it's, it's still compressed with the ROM, you just do press and hold and it's selected now. If you want to include more files, just keep keep selecting and then after that just hit extract don't do anything hit OK and then it'll, t it'll give you the message here uh, and where, where it was saved just back up and you will find a file of the same name of your ROM that you downloaded but it's not compressed it's un uh, unzipped but that, that file is going to include only the files you just extracted. 
So since I just extracted one, there is your file. After that, you know, you follow what I did on the on the other video. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick again. Browser, search your ROM for your specific device, download the ROM, go to ES files, navigate to your ROM, find the zip one, click it, open it up, system, media, audio UI, and here choose whatever file you want to to use press and hold extract don't do anything save back up and it's gonna be right here and the same name of your file system and that's the other one I just extracted that's about it for this uh, video uh, like I say all the time if you guys have any questions or any suggestions please let me know in the comment section down below and hopefully I made sense to you guys and hopefully I made it a lot easier and for all of you I'm looking at you those guys who ask me a lot of questions about how to get those files from here's your video and uh, if you couldn't do it I mean uh, what can I do just let me know and I'll try uh, another method to show you how to do it thank you for watching I appreciate your support and have a good day bye